Hey everybody, it's Barbara and I have a haul to share with you. I have not bought any crafting supplies for myself in a really, really long time. First, I wanted to destash a lot of things that I had that I wasn't using and, um, and then I decided to get into um, trying the gel print and stuff so I wanted to order some stamps and I, we had um, two Tuesday mornings close to us. One was about um, eight miles away and the other was about 10 or 12. And they closed both of those this year or last year. So um, the closest one is an hour away. So we decided to drive out there today. And um, they didn't have as much stuff um, as the other one so next time if i go i'll probably try the one the closest one it would be um san diego we went to riverside for this one so on with that um so i got these spectrum nors now these were 15.99 but you got 12 of them so they're a little over a dollar a piece and i loved all the colors um they had some solids there too that you could get um, but this was a jewel um, colored and so I wanted to pick those up for coloring um, I picked up these tweezers here these are all at Tuesday morning um, I've been using these tweezers for years and they're kind of dumb I don't know when you press on them like they open up whereas these you know close when you press on them so I think they'll be easier to use so then I picked up this um, 49 in market it's called um, I think it's called um, vintage artistry colors butter and butter um, but it's all yellow tones and some creams really really pretty um, six by six and that was $3.99 And then I got some papers and their papers there got really expensive. Like their authentics were $14.99 and some were $9.99. And then, oh, the Echo Park, they had a lot of Echo Park, but they were all expensive. So um, I got these ones, which I don't know what, oh, these Kaiser Craft, it's Crafter Noon. And it was only $3.99, but I love this um, paper here. So that's everything that comes in there. Let me go, um, oh, my other light switch is on. I got this right here, the Heidi um, Swap Scrapbook Kit. And actually, when I opened it up in the car, um, it had been opened. And um, I got the binders or file folders but it didn't have the sticker so I was a little bummed about that and I'm not going to drive an hour back to get plus it was on sale so I'm not sure if I could even return it anyhow this is called country kitchen and I love that paper right there this one with the daisies is super cute and here's the stickers for that now, I guess what they do now is they um, come with 12 by 12, 12, um, 12 by 12 double sided papers, and then they give you six 12 by 12 double sided solids and two ephemera sheets. So there is quite a bit of um, paper in here, and then some of them you get six by sixes. So this one is called um, Pastime Travel Edition, and I just love the grungy feel to this. And this one was $9.99, and it's authentic. And those are the six by six um, pages on the back there. So that's something new I haven't seen before. Um, not sure when authentic started doing that. And then this is called Sunshine and is also Authentic. I mean, I love Authentic. That's, that's my favorite papers. 
So I do always have a, um, what do you call it? I don't have a strong will not to, not to buy them. And then I picked up um, some napkins. I had these ones before that I sold, the purple background. These ones are new, really pretty with the two birds there. And then um, these ones here. So I'll probably be putting this in my store. It's Violet May Treasures on Etsy. I'll put the link. I've been trying to list mostly books in there and I've actually sold quite a bit of my books um, recently. Um, I may do, maybe I'll do another video later where I show some book, books just to advertise. So then we headed back, we um, stopped and we ate because um, it was getting, it was about two o'clock I think. And then we went over to um, Michael's. And this right here was um, $5. It was in their clearance. I always go into Michael's clearance cell because um, they always have, you know, you can find some good things sometimes. So this you get the um, stamp, the die cuts, and it looks like an embossing folder. So that's really cool for five bucks and then I used a 20% off coupon for the other things plus um, a military discount we get on top of that so um, these are the jelly um, arts they're the three mini printing tools which um these were I think they were eight dollars which I think is kind of expensive for three um, here's something else I picked up for five dollars this originally sold for $25.99 this is a super score it's the gelatos pastels so five dollars there's the colors right there and then um i thought this was sometimes they'll hang things up on the wrong area and i thought this was three dollars and when i got it home it was like nine something and I don't really want it for that much, so I'll probably return it. I actually have a $25 gift certificate from Michaels. That I forgot to bring with me. So, um, these are the envelopes with the magnetic sheets. I don't have a whole lot of dies. I really downsized my dies, so I'll probably just put them on these, and that's how I'll store most of them. And then I got these, this um, acrylic craft paint in white fabric tech I always pick up some of that when I'm there and then I got this um, copper embossing also at um, Tuesday morning I picked up this it was a folk art um, storage where you can put your your paints in it so I thought that was really cool and I think it was only like four dollars and at Michael's I went over to Michael's um, specifically to pick up some acrylic paints I do have some Dino Wakely I think um, but I wanted some different colors and as you can tell I'm kind of more of a jewel type person um, and I wasn't going to buy anything really expensive because I'm just you know starting out and I think you, you can use any acrylic paint but you know the Liquitex and a couple other ones like that they're really expensive so I was waiting to look at the deco art but there's this lady man and I would leave and be gone for a while and come back and they'd still be there looking at all of them and I'd leave again and come back I like on the third try I was like oh I'm just gonna get the the um, book art so I think that will work and then let me show you what I got um, oh also I picked up some more um, foam mini ink blending foam so I want to keep one for each of my distressed inks that I have and then I had done a um, Joanne and a Amazon haul. Um, some of the things I put away, like, oh, I got this craft sheet. Um, I, 
had one a long time ago, but it, it ended up getting kind of torn up. So, and most of the stencils that I bought, I already put away, so I'm not going to get those all out, but I haven't put this stuff away. So once I finish this video, I'll be able to put all this stuff away. So I got the six by six um, stencils. I don't really like the really big ones. I, you know, don't feel comfortable working with the big um, gelato plate or gel plate yet. So I'm gonna stick to the littler ones. And then I got, I love these Caravel um, Studio stamps. This one is um, Alice in Wonderland. And this one is called Kooky Cats. This one is called Angels. This one is um, Our Street. And then I got this one here, which is called um, I don't see a name on it right now. It's probably there. Sketches, it looks like. And there's three separate stamps there. So I can't wait to use that one. And then I bought these art um, they're called Art Printing Rubber Texture, and they're for um, stamping on. I'm not sure I'm crazy about it. I bought another one, and I've used it, but um, I don't know. I'll give these ones a try and see how I feel about those. But um, so, you know, you can stamp all over, I guess, is the, the deal with it. And... The name on this one is Garden. This one is called Postcard. This is the one I did use. And they don't clean up, you know, super clean. So just FYI, I'm kind of weird about cleaning my stamp. So um, this is sca Scallop Flower Pattern. And I haven't used that one yet. And then the last thing I'll share with you is this Tim Holtz binder, which I don't know. I probably missed the boat when these came out. Um, and then I saw them and I thought, oh, that would be really cool to keep in all my um, ranger stamps in. Although they don't hold very many. I think if you keep them all on this side, it works out better. And then this kind of flipped in, but I think it's working its way to where it's um, losing its um, stiffness. So I don't know. I probably would. I, I've debated about whether to return them. So these are just some newer stamps that I bought too. This um, one, I think everybody knows, probably seen this one, is called um, Wildflowers. This is um, news printing. So you have your um, alphabets there, and then you have like a newsprint. And then I got this one. So this is kind of similar, but it's a ledger script. This is um, media marks. And this one is ultimate grunge so i think i have about eight in here and then these butterflies and as you can see it um probably wouldn't hold i think they said they could hold eight but i actually bought two of them because the other one i was going to keep my stencils in so I'm not sure what I did with that oh here it is because I don't know if I have any more stamps in here um I bought this one with the um oh here so this one I um 
bought the um, plastic sheets that you can put in here. And then I was just going to put some more of my um, Tim Holtz stamps that I have in here. So this one probably would hold a lot more. Um, so yeah, that's everything. And I've been watching a lot of new people on... Um, so to learn some techniques I did play with it a little bit just on some tags one night I mean I didn't get a lot of a lot of good you know coverage I was probably not using a lot um, maybe this one I did get a lot on that's just the back that picked up some other things so but you can kind of see the stencil in there and then this one here so Alrighty, so thanks for watching everybody, and um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.